This is going to be a short video on the features of XDecal. I'll first be showing you the features available on XDecal standalone and the one that is also present in XTile Plus. And then I'll be showing you the new feature that is available only in the XDecal standalone version. So here I have a decal and when I drag it over my mesh, I get these ugly streaks. Uh, and in X decal, you can easily uh, fix that by just uh, switching on the three-way projection, which is on by default. And here I'll just change the tiling. And here you can see that we have a three-way projected uh, decal. In this case, we can go one step further. And here in the XYZ masking, we can turn it on. And the Z axis projection is on by default. So here we have a decal that is projected just in the Z axis. So this and other features are available, as I said, in both versions. And now I'm going to show you the new uh, feature that is available only in the X uh, decal uh, standalone version. So here we have three meshes and I have uh, this decal, this red splat that is projected on all of them. The middle uh, mesh has an additional decal, this leaks decal that you can see here. And basically what I would like to do is have this leaks decal remain on this mesh. However, I don't want this red uh, splat to uh, be projected. Now, as of now in Unreal, this is not possible because the only way you can uh, control decals is if you select the mesh and you come to the details panel and you type in receive, you will see this receives decal. So this is an on off switch. So what you do is when you turn it on and off, you basically either turn them all on or all off. So it's a very big problem to art direct your decals in a way that uh, you want. So this now is possible with the uh, X decal standalone version. So let's see how to do that. It's very simple. So <clears throat> the way you do that is you basically find your decal, you come down where it says custom stencil ID and you turn it on. And here you have a value. Now if I go to my mesh, and click on the mesh on the details panel. I can also come here custom and you will see here I have something called render custom depth pass. Now, if you click that on, you also have now available this custom depth stencil value. So when these two match the decal stencil ID with your mesh's stencil value, then that decal gets projected on the mesh. If it doesn't match, then it doesn't. So in this case, this is zero, so all I have to do is just change my mesh to one, and that's it. That's all you have to do. So now I have a way to control where and which decals are projected onto which meshes. So here, for example, I have another decal, and if I show you, it's projected again on these two meshes. And if I come to its um, tab here and come down to Custom Stencil ID and turn it on again, and here, let's give this a, another value, say two, right? And then let's turn the stencil ID now value to two. So this mesh will receive this decal. But if I move it across, you'll see that it's not being projected on the middle mesh. Now it's projected on the first mesh because I have no stencil ID. So that means that all decals are being projected on that one. But on the other ones, you can see that now I can project this decal on this mesh, but not on this. So this is a new way of uh, art directing your decals. I hope you understand the power and what it can do for you. I'll leave uh, details in the description below. If you need any help, uh, you can hit me on Discord. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.